Yeah, know I'm sturdy like a milli rocket Skin clear, still look y'all, Andy Miller knock it. money in my pocket, don't call me a money pocket Engine get to rocket, it sound like a thunder rocket Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock it Russell Wilson way I get low and stay in the pocket I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown Yeah, I can't do no trying to leave that gun around In my teens we were acting up and running around Now it grows to get to it if it's necessary On the ground from January to January Never met nobody who retired when they were young So I guess I gotta get it to the cemetery Getting paid just for rapping, it's fun I lit up around the month in every February What's up, Fascato fam? Uh, as you can see, uh, we're out here in a different location. We're not starting this video in the garage, but we are at a type of garage, and it's uh, actually called Detail Garage. Uh, so, as you can see behind me, this is one of their locations. They do have three in the valley, and I'll let Lynn kind of go over that some more. They're, uh, they're a huge part of the Fascato, you know, as far as uh, keeping it clean wants to know what products I use, what I clean it with, and you know, I always try to keep that thing looking good, and uh, I, don't, I don't like people seeing it dirty. So this is where I get all my stuff, and uh, we're gonna kinda go over some of the chemicals and some of the things that they carry, and uh, that way if you guys are looking for any of that stuff, you can come over here and grab it. Um, they do ship. I'm sure they can send it anywhere you want. So, uh, you know, it's busy out here on the road, so excuse the road noise, but Anyways, we'll uh, head in the shop here and uh, kind of get an idea of what she carries. As you can see, this is what the inside of the shop looks like. Normally this would be a nice little chill area. She's got couches and stuff set up in here, but with everything going on, this, this is just the, the new way. Hey Mike, how's it going? Good. This is Lynn. Hey guys, how you doing? The owner of Detail Garage. We, we, we could keep our social distancing here and, and be able to talk like normal, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So just practice our six feet. So we're going to kind of start breaking up some of the stuff that you carry. I know people, uh, you know, they think detail stuff and they're just, you know, they buy one product and they think they can clean their whole car and do all this different stuff with it, but they don't really realize everything that really goes into detailing a car and keeping it looking brand new. Right, and that's a really good point. So. A lot of um, services and materials that are used on a vehicle, not only on the outside, but the inside engine bay, underneath the carriage and everything, or they might be made of similar um, materials and surfaces, but they need to be cared for in different ways because of whether they're interior or exterior. And here at Detail Garage, we are exclusive chemical guy products. And what's really great about this brand is that we have everything you can possibly ever need for every type of surface or material on a vehicle. So we have stuff for leather specifically, specifically for plastics, for metals, for vinyls. Um, big thing about now is the vinyl graphics and the vinyl wraps. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Everybody yeah, knows that. That's why he's here. He's got a beautiful wrap on his <laughs> So the tools and everything and of course all of our detailed garages have expert staff and expert team they all have been extensively trained and they know everything about all the products to guide you as far as what you need to be used on your vehicles now as you can see as Mike has panned around the store all our stores are set up the same we do have three locations here in the valley we have one main store here is in Mesa we have one out on the west side in Avondale and up in the North Phoenix area we have one up there as well uh, Social media wise, social so media. you guys are big on Instagram. Yeah, we're is that the? Super big on Instagram. Is that like so if they look up Detail Garage Mesa or are they all under the same? Like if they look up Detail Garage Mesa, can they find all the locations on that? No, just Mesa. So each each store has their own Instagram and their own Facebook. So hence the it's kind of a um, a pattern here. So it'll be Detail Garage Mesa, Detail Garage Avondale, or Detail Garage N for North. Phoenix. Nice. So on either Facebook or Instagram, if you go by those tags, you'll be able to find us. But of course, if you look at any of the uh, posts and, the, and things that we do on Facebook and Instagram, we include all three stores' locations and phone numbers. And of course, our hours of operation, um, kind of iffy. You know, right now we're kind of in our normal operating hours. We are open Mondays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're closed on Tuesdays. We've got, we all need a little break here and there. And then Wednesday through Saturday, we're open 10 to 6, and then Sunday 10 to 4. So we're here and available pretty much. Yeah, that, work, that works around anybody's schedule. Yeah. So, so I, again, all of our 
our stores are set up to where you've got um, a choice of soaps. We have a variety of different soaps. They all have a different use and a different purpose. We have a complete wheel section to clean things for your wheels. And of course, that includes all the dressings, whether that's a vinyl or a uh, vinyl rubber and plastic, um, oil-based and water-based. We have a complete section for interior cleaners, including the leathers and the plastics. Have a wide variety of air fresheners, as you know, we're really good yes. at air fresheners. Right, and they last a long time. They last a long They're not just a spray and then the smell's gone 15 exactly. minutes later. Exactly, yeah, of course, no. our protection section, we've got the compounds, polishes, sealants, waxes, some ceramic coats. And at the very end, to maintain your vehicle, we got these great detail sprays and wireless washes. Um, in the company, all the chemicals that we have, we also have the accessories. We have the microfiber towels, we have the brushes, we have um, the applicator pads, we have drying towels, and then of right. our famous foam cannons. Oh, the foam, foam cannons! Towels. The foam cannons are big. Like every everybody's all about the foam cannons and stuff right now. Right, and with the foam cannons, you got two varieties. You're able to do one that's you can work with a regular power hose or a garden hose. Um, you're going to get a great super kind of sudsy foam bath. And then of course we have the foam cans that you put on a power washer, whether it's electric or power, and you're going to get that nice thick whipped cream uh, foam to basically lift all the dirt. Right. And that's the whole point of the foam cannon is, exactly. is you're not scrubbing and, and rubbing all of that stuff into your surface. You're actually letting that absorb into that foam and then rinsing it away. Exactly. Now, not to say that you don't use a wash mitt, but it right. also helps A, when you are using a wash mitt, we prefer the two bucket method, but it's going to basically, like you said, collect all the dirt and the debris up into the sum or the suds. And then as you're taking your uh, wash mitt across the surface, and you're actually capsulating up into the wash mitt and not scraping it across the surface. So I see in this section, so you, you have these motorized, these are, these are buffering motors they're, yes they're polished. and then you you have a whole section over here of all the different attachments and so whatever whether you're cutting buffing yeah so uh, there's polishing phases. there's a cutting a polishing and finishing so we have all the pads for all the different phases we have a wide variety of machines currently right now we have two of these in stock we have a total of four different types of varieties um, including a rotary but most of our most of the machines that we sell are, are the random orbitals or DAs right um, those are the ones that so as a beginner you don't need to worry you're not going to burn the paint you're not going to don't need to worry about getting those swirly marks or burn buffer marks because when you're using these random orbital machines they have safety features built to them, to them. and another thing that we offer here at detail garage is we actually have a polishing class that I I actually right. conduct on um, every third Saturday and it shows you the proper way to do I, that. We go. It's a whole thing. I show you how to use the machines, what pads to use, what chemicals, and then we actually allow you to actually physically use the machines. We got some um, hoods in back that we work on. Practice so hoods. Practice hoods. Nice. So That's awesome. Mess up on the hoods. And yeah. You take it, and once you learn it, you can take it home. So it's a pretty extensive thing. We had a class yesterday. It was a great class. Everyone that goes away takes away some really good things. So. Yeah, I mean, you're you're never too old to learn something, no matter no matter what age you're at. So, I think a, lo a big thing too, like I see with all the the different colored of towels and the 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 pads and stuff, they actually are different thicknesses for a reason, right? Because they absorb differently. Yes, they do. So, there's a lot, microfiber towels are like my biggest forte. That that's my favorite thing about detailing on all these towels. And what people want to really look at when you're looking at a microfiber towel is the blend of it. So microfiber is made up of polyester and polyamide. You want to look for a 70-30 blend, meaning 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. That's going to make sure and guarantee that A, one thing, it's going to absorb up water when you're using a drying towel. Right. And B, it's not going to put any scratches onto your surface. Right. Any other towel that you get out there that's an 80-20, 85-15, or a 90-10, whether they feel really super soft coming out of the package, I can guarantee you that they're going to scratch the surface. Right. So you want to make sure you're using high quality. And, and, and then the, the chamois phase that everybody yeah, went through. Gone. Yeah, that, that, that was the worst thing for a paint job in the world if your car well, had any kind of surface residue so back left. In the day, back, in, back in my day, so back yeah. in my day when we had the old single stage or lacquer style paint, mm -hmm. it was super durable. So we could withstand a chamois or right. Dad's old T-shirt or the old bath towel—it right. didn't get a scratch as easily. The modern paint technology today; those clear coats are very, very sensitive. Right. So using these. And there's not a lot of material on there to begin with. Exactly. So that we do have the different thicknesses and different grades, and what that basically is has to be with what you're going to be using it for. So again, 
you know, we have these big towels. Right. These are meant to, to dry a car with. So you, the, the old chamois way. So yeah. Be, this is what you would use instead of the chamois. You still you would lay it on. Just kind of drag it over the surface. Just drag it over, and it's bone dry. So you can do an entire car with these. Right. Um, and we got all these different styles, and then of course, when you come in into more of the detailed towels. We have towels that are actually specific for one purpose. For example, we have these towels here that are really super soft and super fluffy and they don't have any edges on them. These are actually made specifically to remove glaze seal and wax. So can you use... And the purpose of not having the edge on it is so you don't have any... So you're not dragging like edge or... An edge or... Glazer, right. Glazer the sealant. You're not pulling the glaze from where from another area and bringing it back over on the surface. Nice. And these long fibers actually... Or, um, they grab the glaze seal or wax off right. the vehicle and it makes it a really good high shine buff. Now not to say that you can't remove glaze seal or wax with a workhorse towel, you can. Because this, this is still a 730. But you can see just even visually yes. the, 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 the makeup of the two difference right. in the towels, even in the thickness, like how much more product this would absorb compared to that one. Right? Exactly, and so the reason why we have these we call them, they're not, it's not that they're thinner, it's just they're GSM for grams per square meter. There's less grams per square meter on this towel than there is on this towel. And of course, as Mike, as you mentioned, the fibers aren't as long. So these right. are really long fibers to grab the wax and the seal right. and pull it off the car. And it'll hold more before you'd have to change out exactly. a towel. Exactly. And you can flip the towel. You Usually, you can use one towel to remove any right. kind of wax off the car because it can hold a lot more. Where this one, you're probably going through a whole pack. Now, the difference between removing the wax with this towel versus this towel is elbow grease. Right. So you'll take you use more effort with this towel and this one is being able to just like, wipe it away. You actually if you're doing any kind of uh, application by hand applying your wax, it's gonna be harder to apply your wax than taking it off with this towel. Right. And that's what it was made for and it's a great towel. And I think the big like the biggest thing I hear with the microfiber towels is everybody's like, Oh, I'm not gonna pay eight dollars for a towel and then I have and like no you don't have to throw it away. Like you wash these things over and over. Mm -hmm. You have special soap yes. that you sell for them to clean them. Absolutely. And I mean, these are how many uses do you think you get out of a towel? These things will last have, months, right? I have, if you take care of them. If you take care of them, they'll last years. Years. So as a, so you spend eight dollars or ten dollars on a towel. Yes. It's not something one use, and you have to throw it away. Right. And so that's why you sell different colors yeah. of towels. Yeah, different colors. To use towels, for different areas different of your car. Different areas, different purposes. Right. Whatever you want to set, however you want to set up your detail shop, or. However, you personally want to detail your car, you dedicate this color towel is going to be used for wheels, this color towel is going to be right. used for paint. And for so wheels. then you're not putting brake dust on your car cleaning towel. Exactly. So whatever towels you use for your wheels, that's right. those are dedicated to wheels. Yes. Of any else. But as Mike, you're saying, you're going to use this product here, it's called microfiber wash. Nice. Uh, the biggest thing that I also see that on social media is people advocating, oh, I just use the free and clean, clear laundry detergent. It, it's not so much the fact excuse me, the fact that laundry detergent is free of any fragrances or clear of any kind of, you know, all that, right. that sulfate stuff. It's the fact that it's detergent and it's still going to clog the ends of the microfiber. So it's going to clog the microfiber ends. They won't absorb and it'll end up scratching your surface. This is specifically made for microfiber. And it's washer safe for all washer HE washers. Yep, HE washer safe, super concentrated. This one bottle is going to last you a very long time. So is it just like put a cap full in one or something like capfuls. that? Depends on how many towels you right. have. One or two cap fulls, it will rejuvenate your towels and, and keep them just as nice and flush as when you right. get them out of the back. Now a lot of times, uh, with, if, when you're buying microfiber towels, I highly recommend washing the towel before you actually use it. Especially like on these long fiber towels. Um, a lot of people might get what they call lint right. left over, and it's not like it's going to hurt the vehicle to surface. No. I always give the towels a little... Yeah, you know you what I mean? You kind of... Yeah. There, but, you know, it's always wise if you want to go ahead and wash the towels before you actually use them. So yes. the main thing also on the towels, as long as we're talking about the care firm, is you don't want to apply any heat when you're drying the towel. So put it on the, in, the, in your air dry, in your tumbler, on air only. And don't apply any heat. Do it for about 30 minutes. Because that will actually affect the, the, the yes. characteristics so of the fiber. It will melt the towel. So oh, wow. It doesn't take very much heat to melt no, those things. It doesn't melt. So, and know, that's probably because of the blend in them, yes. right? Polyester polymite. Those are plastic 
man-made things. So right. you know, like when you cut the end of a nylon rope and you take the lighter to melt the ends, that's what you're doing for the towel and when you apply heat. I always, I always look at you, you're like the mad scientist of detailing because the, the, the the detail that you put into a car and then the, the detail that's in the products itself is like the information still blows me away. And I've talked to you like so many times already and it's like every time I come in here I still learn something. I'm like, where do you put all of that information and store it? You know? And that's really kind of the really cool thing about yeah. detail is that you'll get all this knowledge from us. Right. Not only do we have the product. Like you're taking that with you. Yeah, you're able to take it. It's not a big secret. You're like, you're, you're willing to have people to come in because you, you, you want them to use the product and you want them to do it right. And you're teaching them how to use it right. Exactly. And, and, and also at the same time, if someone comes in for the first time, I never want to basically give them the entire, you know, oh, it's just too much information. Basically what we want to do if you're trying to come in for the first time is a little bit. Bring us your project. What is right. it that you want? What is it that you want to do? You need to Specifically right. need. Project. Right. And let's get you working on the project because I can guarantee you once you get the right products and we train you and teach you how to use those products, you're going to come back to do another project. Yes. And that's what it is because all of you know that as you follow him, you follow us. Detailing isn't just putting a hose on a car. No. There's a lot involved, especially on the... No, and they don't see the behind... I mean, don't don't get it wrong. This This room... I gotta flip this around for a minute. This room is full of work, and you gotta be willing to put in the work because it's no matter what detailing stuff you do, it's you gotta put elbow grease in, you gotta put work in, but the products and the stuff that's available here makes it easier, and you're using the right products. That's the big thing for me. Like, I don't just put anything on my car, um, I'm very specific about the stuff that I used, and everybody knows, everybody always asks me, you know, what do I use, what do I use to clean it. What, what do I do to do it so good? And you know, th this is it. Like if you've never been into one of these places, you got, you got to come here just to even just check it out. I mean, the we, like to, we like to say this is the Ulta for men. Yeah. Or really the yeah. Ulta for car enthusiasts yeah. because it's, it's just kind of like, oh. You should do a club of the month like they do with like BoxyCharm and like the, all the stuff that they get. Like you just sign up for a subscription and then us guys get a box in the mail every month with cleaning stuff in it and we'd be, we'd be excited. So for when you come and you buy anything in our store, you're going to build up rewards. And those rewards is basically cash in your pocket for your next purchase. Wow, that's awesome. So, and how do they, they get like a card or it just goes in the system? It goes into the system. So they don't have to keep track of anything, no, have to all. keep a special card on them to come in. No, it just goes in track, the computer. If you want to keep track, there is an app. So if you just go to your app store and you look up Detail Garage, it will download the Detail Garage app and then you find the store. Basically, That's Detail awesome. Garage, Mesa, Avondale, and North Phoenix. And you'll be able to, you know, key in your phone number and you'll be able to keep track of your own phone. So, so I got the Gato in the back room here. We're gonna show you their showroom. This is where they do their how-to classes, um, like she was talking about. That's You said that was on the third Saturday of every month? Third Saturday of every month. And you do different classes all the time? That's basically or is that just, just a polishing. A, that's just a polishing class? Yeah. So do you put on any other classes, or if you have enough people that wanna know about something? Yeah. If that's I always have, an option? If I have enough people, I'll definitely do a class. I have done one-off classes, special classes for those who can't make it on the weekend. Right. It's just a matter of uh, supply and demand. Just supply like anything demand. else, yeah. right? But right. Also, I had some people that um, they went to start a business and they did they bring in their whole crew, and so we just. Right. This is not just classes. for the everyday person who has a car. No. You sell supplies to big businesses that do this for a living. Yeah. This Hundreds. Is, yes. Each detail garage location has their own set of detailers that come into the store. Correct. And we also have their card. So if someone wants something specifically done to their car, we can refer them to the, any of the detailers that come in. That's awesome. Yeah. So there's always an avenue. So no matter what you need done, there's always a way to get it done. But without further ado, we're gonna bust up in the back room here. We're gonna go in the back. We got the Gato back here. And we're gonna talk about getting bugs off today. How many businesses do you know where you could come into a back room and, and you have a workshop like this? Like I, I would probably cut off a few of my fingers to have a garage built like this to be able to work on cars. This place is awesome. Look at this place. So what we got here is like he's like Mike was saying, this is our classroom. Um, we do, um, we don't have a car sitting here during the classroom. Right. Um, 
But um, this is what we do, like basically our classroom setting. And then we go over into the warehouse and we do like any kind of lab work and so forth. Now there are kinds of um, certain situations where uh, some of our customers or a detailer has um, a problem with their car and they're not quite sure. And I just say, bring it on up. We pull it in and we work on the project together. We're here all here at Detail Garage. We are here about teaching and knowledge and letting you basically do the work yourself. Right. But have the confidence to be able to do it without, without messing it up. Without messing it up. Right. So, as you were saying, on the trip up here, we get, especially in, in Arizona, we got lots of bugs. Yes. And unlike in the Midwest, I mean, who knows, we got lots of bugs, but here we have huge bugs. Yes. I mean, they're big and juicy. Yeah. So, we got a few. They not only splatter where they hit, they splatter everything else after that. Yeah. So, they only <laughs> hit, but then everything else goes everywhere. So, he's left some bugs on here, and what um, we're going to do here is Derek's going to demonstrate on how to safely remove these bugs without having to drag out the hose or a wash mitt or anything like that. Um, we have products here and that's what we're all about. We're here to make things simple and easy and yes. fast and effective without harming the surfaces. So, so who's gonna help us do this? Derek. Derek is gonna help us. And for anybody who don't know that comes by here, uh, he's got a pretty sweet car that's parked out front that's got a lot of wrap work done on it too. So I know if he's using, you know, he uses what he sells. So. That, that's a that's a big thing in my book. You know, there's a lot of people who sell stuff that don't use their own products. So, so you got an Instagram or anything? I do. Yeah. What's your Instagram? It's a tuck tuck nine thirty. Okay, you got to spell it out for me, or I'll mess it up. T u k t u k nine three zero. No no dashes, no underscores. All right. Perfect. So this this is a car wash soap. It is a car shampoo, car soap, car wash soap. So you can also use it to wash the entire car. But what we like mainly sell it for, what we kind of educate our customers is use this as a pre-treat. So if you put it in a spray bottle and right. you mix it in a six to one ratio, you've got a pretty thick but pretty um, pliable, sprayable solution. That just as a bug remover. Just as a bug remover. So that one gallon would oh. that, that would last you for like two or three bug seasons yeah, probably. Very long. Wow. So we're gonna remove the bugs. We right. talked about the product. Yes, this is the six to one. Six to one dilution, so it's one part product, six parts water. So it's an idiot sprayable formula. You can spray on, let it sit for a few seconds, wipe it right off without scratching anything. On nice. And what kind of what kind of towel or or uh, what's like what's the thickness or absorbent ratio or usually, why why are we using this specific towel? So usually these detail towels we call them a little more plush, a little more have a little bit longer fiber, so you have more of a grasp to pull off any bugs and dirt. It's got a place for the guts and, and parts yeah. to go, it's right? The deeper in the fibers, you'll have less of a chance to scratch yes. the surface. Awesome. Now, one thing also we'd like to point out is uh, a lot of our detailing towels, most of them are this 16 by 16 towel. So what he, what we do is we fold them in half and then fold them in a quarter, and you have this ni nice 8 by 8 area to work with. And one towel, you're going to get eight uses out. So you got one, two, then you're going to flip this inside out. You got three, four, and that's to get it dirty. And then once that's finished, you can flip it on the other side and you got four more surfaces. So we like using the really fluffy sides, like Derek was saying, for the bugs to be able to yes. pull that all off. And then the, the thinner side's kind of like the, the buffing yeah, side or whatever, like right? Yeah, it's kind of like the buffing side. But either side you can use to remove the bugs, we just like using the, the big ones. But again, once your side of your towel is dirty, you don't want to put that back on the surface. Flip it off to another side. So that's why all of our towels are sold in a three pack. Right. So. And they're all washable. They're all washable. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them in your washer. These are not throwaway towels. Like you could be able to use these on your car for like, like she said, if you take care of them, they will take care of you. You can use them for months, years, depending on what you're using them for. And how you're taking care of them. So that's the key. All right. So we'll go ahead. A few mists on here. Let it sit for a second. And as you take your towel, you kind of roll it up, kind of pick up any of the bug guts. Wow. Take the second towel, this is a clean towel, <laughs> buff off any excess, and it comes right off. No more bugs. So, yeah, so that's especially awesome. Especially like for all you guys that go on these cruises and meet, yes. and you guys all pull up to a restaurant or to a parking lot, and you're and you got you guys all set up, you guys can jump out of the car, grab your detailed towels, grab all your products, and do a quick wipe down, and yes. it'll look like you never drove 30 miles. Right. 
No, that and that's huge. That's big for me. Every time I stop, because I'm I'm always I'm always worried about the first impression. Like if 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 it's the first time somebody's seen my car, mm -hmm. I don't want them to see. Oh man, that thing looks horrible. Or oh man, why, why are all these bugs on here? I, I can't be like, hey man, I just drove 150 miles to get here. No, I want it done before they see it. Exactly. So I, I, I'm I'm really uh, anal about you know wiping stuff down and cleaning it. But I appreciate your time. Absolutely. We're gonna kind of wrap up this one. Like we we got so many of these that we could do. The possibilities are endless. But uh, you know, as with anything, I always tell you guys that uh, everybody's time is valuable. So uh, I appreciate Lynn's time. Um, I appreciate her staff. Um, you guys come by here, check her out. There's gonna be a ton of these videos coming. We're gonna go over different aspects. If there's something specific that you guys wanna see, mm -hmm. or if you're curious about it, drop a comment down below and I'll find out the answer or I'll lead you in the right direction. All of her information will be in these videos so you can contact her directly come by one of the stores or get a hold of one of us and we'll definitely lead you in the right direction to get this taken care of. But other than that, we're gonna kind of close this out and uh, like, comment, subscribe, check it out. Stay blessed, stay safe, have a great week.